everyone, Glenda here from Style with Glenda K. Harrison, and I'm recording this video as part six of my Spring into Style series that I began a little less than a month ago. For this video, I'm talking about the body, a fresh body, and the reason why I want to do this video versus um, writing a blog post is because I want to demonstrate some things to you. So for the past seven days, I have been on a detox. So I haven't really been posting on social media and I hadn't done any blog posts and I've just been quiet and I've been taking care of my body and my soul and my mind. So what do I mean by detox? Well, I wasn't doing a juice cleanse or anything like that. What I was doing was I was actually following a program that I have in a book that I purchased many, many years ago. And I'll show it to you later in this video. But anyway, so I was doing the detox and the detox was no dairy, um, no refined sugars. Um, the only sugars that you can consume are natural sugars that come from fruit or um, from agave or honey. And so the only time I had agave or honey is if I had herbal tea. The only thing you could drink was water and herbal tea. So, um, and it was very little protein. I did have some protein as in the form of an egg or I had a very lean piece of chicken. I didn't have any seafood because I'm allergic to seafood. But anyway, I did this for seven days and um, the program actually gives you a step-by-step -step guide of what you should be doing from each day. So every day I woke up at around eight o'clock in the morning. I got up, I drank warm water with lemon and then I exercised, I had a breakfast and then a few hours later, I would have my lunch and then I would have later on an afternoon snack and then I would have a light dinner and then bedtime was at 10 o'clock. And I wanna tell you, it felt amazing. So another thing that I would do while I was doing this detox is in the morning, I would dry brush my skin and then I would take an Epsom salt bath. So it was like I was, you know, when you dry brush, if you've ever dry brush, and I'll show you a little bit of how I do it also at the end of this video. So when you dry brush, it's like you're, you're stimulating your, um, your lymph nodes and you're exfoliating your skin. And then afterwards, when you get in the Epsom bath and you just feel like you're just, all the toxins are just like, escaping your body. You feel amazing when you get out. And then when I would get out, I would put on a nice um, layer of body oil. So, but for now, I wanna show you what I do when I get ready for bed. And this is my face skincare. So since I am wearing a little bit of makeup, I'm gonna show you what I use to remove the makeup. This is Clinique. And it is called Take the Day Off. So it's like a thick cream. I don't know if you can see that there. See that? It's like a very thick, like oil cream type. So I'm gonna put this on my face. And you just simply um, rub your face and it begins to loosen up the makeup that you're wearing. And I'm pretty much just wearing a little bit of foundation and a little bit of powder. That's all I'm wearing today. So once I get that all over my face, then I take my towel and I run the water. And I take my towel, and I always use cool water, and I just wipe it clean. And you'll see the makeup in the towel. It 
If you hear a buzzing sound, that's the blender in the kitchen. My husband is actually baking a cake for an event that he's attending. So there, I have all of that removed from my face. So as you can see, it wasn't really that much. So now what I want to do is I want to remove the rest of, if there is any remainder of take the day off, I'm going to go ahead and remove it with my facial cleanser that I absolutely love. This is CeraVe. This is the foaming facial wash. I just use a couple of pumps on my fingers and I run it under water just to get the lather going and then I soap up my face. Good soap going. And I don't know about you, but I absolutely love the whole idea of taking care of my body. You've heard me mention before that I love working out. Maybe I'm a little strange, but I absolutely do love exercising. And I also love this that I'm doing here at the end of my day. I enjoy washing my face. It just feels really good and comforting for me. And it's like a signal to my mind that it's time to go to bed. So there, I got a good lather on that. And so now I'm just going to rinse this off. I'm not going to use a towel because the towel is filled with the makeup and I don't want to transfer that residue back on my skin. So I am going to now just go like this to get the soap off. There. Now the final step is I like to put on a toner and the toner that I use is Sorry about that. I use Dickinson's Witch Hazel. I've been using this for years. And I just take a cotton ball, squirt that on there. And I just dab it on my face. As you can see, I have some discoloration there. And I use witch hazel because I have super sensitive skin, and I mean sensitive. I can't use any artificial synthetic fragrances in or around any part of my body, so I don't. Let me splash it one more time with water, and I'm still using cool water. Tap that dry one more time. There, it feels amazing. Now finally, I'm on to my moisturizer. Um, I'm using Untamed Natural, Untamed Natural for the glow. Now in the morning when I wash my face and I moisturize, I use an oil and I usually, usually use about just one good drop of oil and then I rub it gently on my by patting it in. That's how I do my face in the morning. And perhaps I'll do a morning routine video. But for now, because it's evening, I like to use something a little bit thicker and more um, moisturizing. And when I wake up in the morning, my face feels amazing. This made my face feel like a baby's bottom. Let me get that close on there. Okay, so it's like a thick emollient. And I just put a little bit on the tip of my finger. I put on my forehead, my nose, chin, and my cheeks. And I just gently 
massage it in. There. Get on my eyelids, the corner of my eyes. And then upward strokes. And then what I have left, I usually rub it on my neck and then on my hands. And then finally, the last thing that I do to prep my skin for bedtime is my facial roller. I did a video on this. I'll link that in this video. So what I do is I just simply, it's like I'm gently pressing upward. And I always do this when I have an oil or a moisturizer on my skin. And once I've completed this process, I'm ready for bed. Feels so good. The other thing about my jade roller is that I keep mine in the refrigerator so that when I take it out, it's chilled and it feels so good and comforting to my skin. I use the little side or around my eyes. There. And I go over my eyelid. Oh man, that feels so good. And I'm gonna go back over my neck again. All right, there you have it folks. I keep my skincare routine simple. I know there are some people out there who use all these different serums and creams and all these things before they go to bed, but I like to keep my skincare routine A, B, C simple. And for the simple fact is I have very sensitive skin. Um, and the other fact is it seems like when I start to do too much to my skin, that's when it breaks out. So there you have it, friends. I hope you enjoyed this video. And like I said, um, stay tuned for me to show you the book. And I also have a link for the book um, that I used for my detox program. So here I am, like I promised. This is the book that I use for my detox program that I did. The Process of Cleansing and Restoration Detox. Super simple to use. It has recipes and everything that you need to get you through the program. You can do it for a weekend, a week, a month, as long as you like. I did it for a week, but you know what? I enjoyed it so much that I'm gonna continue on. So I'll probably do it for 21 days and I'll let you know how I feel when it's all over. Bye for now.